generative AI, artificial intelligence that creates new content, from images and text to music and code. It's behind everything from Dali's art to ChatGPT's conversations, and it's reshaping how we think about creativity and automation. At its core, generative AI learns patterns from existing data and uses them to create new original content. Think of it like an artist who studied millions of paintings and can now create new ones in any style, or a writer who's read the entire internet and can write in any voice. The most famous architecture for image generation is GANs, Generative Adversarial Networks. They work like an art forger and detective playing an endless game. The generator tries to create fake images, while the discriminator tries to spot the fakes. As they compete, both get better until the fakes become indistinguishable from real images. Modern image generators like Stable Diffusion use a different approach called diffusion models. They learn by gradually adding noise to images and then reversing the process. Given a text prompt, they can start from random noise and progressively refine it into stunning images that match your description. For text generation, we use large language models like GPT. They predict the next word in a sequence over and over, creating coherent text by understanding the patterns of human language. The same approach works for code generation, helping programmers write software faster using tools like Devon. The latest models can even work across multiple types of content. They can understand images, generate text, create code, and even edit videos. This multimodal capability is pushing the boundaries of what AI can create. Despite their power, these models have limitations. They can only remix and recombine patterns they've seen in their training data. They're not truly creative like humans. They can also reproduce biases and generate misleading content, raising important ethical questions. This has been Generative AI in 100 seconds. Drop a like if you want to see how these models work under the hood. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.